Hello, my name is Nancy Berliner. When I look at this painting, I can get the sense that this bird is right in front of us. The Song Emperor was so intent on capturing the reality of the bird. It's not just one of the most special paintings here at the museum. It's also one of the most special paintings in the history of Chinese art in the world. Today we're going to be talking about one of the most special Chinese paintings here at the Museum of Fine Arts. That painting is called Wu Si In Wu Tu. When we look at this painting, we see a bird, a colorful bird. It's a parakeet, and as the name suggests, it's five different colors. It was created by the Emperor Sun Huizong, who lived almost 1,000 years ago. Sun Huizong, this was a man who focused so much energy on art and cultivating himself through art. And when we look at this painting, we can see the focus he had on his art. We can see that the bird was painted freehand. He didn't first do a sketch underneath. He just created these beautiful, very focused, lines freehand. Can you imagine the focus and patience and training it takes to make those lines? And at the same time, he was emperor of all of China. Here at the Museum of Fine Arts, we are incredibly fortunate to have another painting by the emperor Sun Huizong. In English, the painting is called Court Ladies Preparing Newly Woven Silk. In Chinese, it's called Daolian Tu. Like the five-colored parakeet, we can also see in this painting the emperor's control, incredible control that he has over his brush to be creating extremely fine lines to depict these beautiful court ladies as they are working the manufacture of silk. The Northern Song Dynasty was really the height of realism in Chinese painting. And the Emperor Huizong was very focused on realism. And you can see that in this painting. He's really trying to capture with his brush and his colors the image of this special bird. Look at the feathers, the different colors, the red, the yellow, the purple of his feet, and also his eye. You know, the eye was so carefully created by the emperor's brush. It just brings the whole bird alive. It's as if it's about to fly off the tree. And the apricot tree in full bloom suggests spring. It's springtime. And the fact that this beautiful bird has landed on its branch is an auspicious sign that the spring and the summer will bring a full harvest, a good harvest for the country. So this was a very special bird and seeing it in the garden for him was probably a very auspicious moment, which is why he decided to record the moment, both in poetry and painting. This is one of the earliest paintings where we see this combination of calligraphy, poetry, and painting, the three arts all together as one object. 
Art historians believe that this painting might have originally been part of a larger album that the Emperor Song Hui Tzu created. It was an album of paintings of special plants, rocks, and animals, and each painting was accompanied by a poem, as well as an introduction to the poem that was written by the emperor. Song Hui Tzu's personal style of calligraphy is called slender gold style. If we look at each of these characters, we can see the thinness of the characters combined with a real strength. We can see his energy, and at the same time, we can see the control he had over that energy. When he makes a stroke, the strokes are very slender, but then they begin and end with an incredible force. Every character is exquisite and an art object in itself. This became, in a sense, this, a model for Chinese painting from then on, for the past 900 years. This uh, great combination of painting, calligraphy, and poetry. Three arts as one object. This painting just brings the moment right alive. And then we read his poem, we get the sense that this bird is right in front of us. The Song Emperor was so intent on capturing the reality of the bird. And the painting is the representation of the man. The man um, had the weight of the largest country of the world on his shoulders. And for the time that he was creating this painting, he was able to focus so clearly just on the characters, the brush stroke, the ink, and the brush on the silk. For me, it's a wonderful lesson on focus and patience and the creation of beauty and the knowledge that the creation of beauty is a very important aspect of all of our lives, including the emperor's life. And it's very touching for me to be able to display this painting and share it with all the people who come to visit our museum.